Welcome back guys to the Riotech channel. I'm Commander Corley, your host, and today we're back in Art of War 3. That's right, we're taking a look at another battle between Commander Corley and Moonra 765 from the Celebes clan. So we're going to jump right on into this battle here. And we're going to see what happens. All right, this is a confrontation type battle on the Twang Isthmus map. New objective. All right. Starting out strong here with a construction yard. But of course, we're going to throw up our power. Then our barracks. And then some supply. All right, we got a container right back there. Now, I already know the outcome of this battle, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it a little bit here. Did not realize it at the time, but I was playing a bot. And I went straight south with this one guy. And as you can see, he's not even building this base up. Well, I went ahead and scouted around just in case. I was going, scratching my head like, what's going on here? At this point, I'm just like, well, I've got contracts to do. So let me pop out some contracts. So we go on up to level... Two HQ I'll go ahead and pop another scout yes I know at this point it's considered wasting your boosts but hey I had them had them and I was going to use them oh yeah I'm just scouting out the map just having fun collecting all the containers Like, I'm going to need some supply going on here to pop these contracts, so I'm just throwing up power stations and supply stations left and right here. So we went up to a total of five supply and four power. Waiting on some resources to build up. I'm just, I got the assaults just sitting there. Just gonna sit there and watch him. Of course, we got the aviation factory up. Gonna bring up the other factory. So that I can pop out some contracts. Of course, I'm going to pop a supply so I can get get them up there, get them fast. We don't want to sit around and wait. I'm going to go up to level 3 here. I'm going to boost up the speed just a little bit more while I'm scouting out the map. Alright, so we need to go up to level 4 on this factory so that I can pop out the turrets because that's the one I'm going for at the moment I'm gonna have a little fun fighting myself The only action you're going to see, <laughs> me fighting myself. Got everybody else just sitting here on the HQ. Because he's not doing anything else.
So I've got a Poseidon contract I gotta fulfill too. This point, I'm pretty sure I made the torrent contract. Right, and you saw the cyclones there; they're all over his base at the moment. The cyclones was an, was another contract that I needed to finish up. I guess I just got lucky because I was close to finishing up those three contracts anyway. So I guess I just got a lucky battle and facing a bot. All right, going into level two of the shipyard and level four, or is it level five now? Level five of the HQ now. We're just gonna have to speed it up again. Yep. Get a Viking out there and a I'm gonna send them all down here. Just to sit on the base. I'm gonna put try and put one of every unit on his base. Got my MLRS sitting there. Got my Delta sitting there. Now I've got the Viking sitting there. I've got a Zeus. Now we're going to start playing with him here. And here comes the Poseidon. But went ahead and knocked out his base anyway. Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed that really quick video <laughs> of me up against the bot. So, this was fun. But I'm going to jump into another video here real quick that I hope you enjoy. This is going to be me and the legendary Fat Squatch 2v2 against two other confed players. There it is. Right there it is. It's a level 10 myself. Level 14 Fat Squatch against a level 13 and a level 14. This battle, trust me guys, had me on the edge of my seat the entire time so we're gonna jump right on in there it's a 41 minute battle 41 minutes i hope you enjoy it of course with it being 41 minutes i'm gonna speed it up to two times the speed new objective all right so i'm in the bottom corner of this map bottom corner throwing up my supply my power my barracks get some assaults out here gonna go ahead and throw up an assault fact vehicle factory as well fat squatch is all over it already already popping them out so I'll pop an infantry scouting bonus as well and it looks like he's gonna let me get the containers he might get one or two All right, container. And I'm already scouting out Red's base. Just a little bit here. And that was a mistake. I didn't know it at the time, but that was a mistake. So I'm throwing up some more power, some more supply. Getting some, some fortresses popped out here. He's telling me to scout. <laughs> The containers. But at the time I didn't know that there was coyotes up there. Didn't realize that that's what he was talking about. But he's telling me to get the containers here. I'm gonna go up to the next level HQ. Pop out some more heavy assaults here. I'm 
Move to point D. So he's wanting me to move up here to yellow. Not sure why he wants me to go up there. <laughs> this is why it was a mistake for me to go and run over there <laughs> to Red's base. He coyote rushed me early. Very early. Now I'm hoping Fats can get <laughs> some troops down here to help protect my base. And I've got some fortresses popping out here. But man, did he coyote rush me. Let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of them. Just like, whew. he's all over me already. That's one down. <laughs> one fortress down as well. But here comes some of my fortresses back. Looks like some of Fat Squatch troops have made it as well. Got some of his fortresses coming in along with the rest of my fortresses. Got two fortresses up against. Make that five. Well was five. Now four fortresses up against all those coyotes. And he's trying to move away. He's running from Fats' fortresses. Trying to take out the rest of my supply. <laughs> Hammer and fortresses. Take out the rest of his coyotes. All right, now it's time for me to rebuild. He slowed me way down here. That early rush of his. Time for me to start popping everything back up. He oh, he's sent, sending down another coyote there. Bad Squatch has got him though. Alright. Speed things back up again. Going up to level 2 on the assault vehicle factory. Gonna start producing some hammers. Gonna jump my aviation factory back up since it was destroyed. going to start producing some heavy assaults. Now I've got my fortresses down there patrolling. At this point I'm telling Fat Squatch I'm going to recover. I'm going to recover. I'll be fine. Rolling out some heavy assaults. Another construction yard in there so that I can build further down this way. We'll move out the heavy assaults to patrol over here. And I know I need another power station, so I'm going to have to pop that supply to get it. Pop that boost. Put another supply station there. That brings me up to four. And I've got my patrols going, so I know if he comes after me here. Ooh, anti-tank infantry coming from the north. At this point, Fats is already over here destroying yellow. Taking them out real quick. Was well, gonna send my heavy assaults up there to try and at least 
do some damage up there, but that speeds me to it. Now I've got some hammers popped out already. Got my heavy assaults up here just running circles around everything. I'm going to send them south here. Fat starts moving his forces over here to kind of watch it. Yellow tries to pop back up unsuccessfully. All right. Going up to level two aviation factory and putting a landing pad down. We all know what I'm going to now. Pads up. Yeah, I'll go ahead and produce a couple more assaults. Got some more hammers on the way as well. I've got a little battle going up on up here. Got some, my heavy assaults are going on. Trying to take out this armadillo. But he runs away. I put my heavy assaults in patrol mode for right here. Not realizing how big of a force he actually had. I've got one vertex up, another one on the way. Got some more. Got my hammers patrolling that sector there. Looks like I'm moving out my assaults do some more scouting at his base I'm gonna go in from the south here I knew he had that sniper tower up there alright his base is completely scouted he's going up to the next level I jump into aviation production so I can get those uh, last two vertexes popped up. All right, got all four vertexes ready. And I send them in for an attack run. Him and his porcupines, so I go ahead and take them guys down. Start working again on his power. However, they run out of fuel very quickly. I'm thinking the game's over right now. Not realizing he's moving out his for uh, forces here. So I send my vertexes back out even though they're not ready yet. Fuel level critical. And I definitely didn't take them all out. So he's moving up, moving in with his armadillas. I've got them coming from both directions. He's going to focus on taking out that landing pad, which of course puts me under again. Unfortunately, I rely on them vertexes a lot. Goes ahead and knocks out, of course, my <laughs> barracks again.
Can't even get a shot off with the cyclone. I'm like, oh no, the game's about to be over at this point. This is why I said I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. This right here. Fighting two armadillas. One hammer. At this point, he no longer attacks my hammer. So I just sit here and pound him with it. Here comes the second one. Gonna go ahead and pop the construction yard again. Alright. And he has been knocked out. So I just barely survived that one. On the edge of my seat here. a reconstruction bonus so that I can reconstruct the base. He's asking me if I want help at this moment. And of course I tell Fat Squatch yes. Send help. Still sending those armadillos in here after me. Now he's sending another force in here after me. Another time when I'm like, oh no, I'm going to be taken out and I'm not going to be able to get a good victory with Fat Squatch. Fat Squatch is sending his Zeus's in here to help. They take me back down to nothing. But, superior force from Fat Squatch moves in. And rescues me again. Now we gotta build up the base once more. Thankfully I had enough resources to get a go on it. He's gonna have his Zeus's patrol right there. Popping another supply. Telling Fats that I want a piece of him now. He's now dropped me down to nothing twice. Twice! Dropped me back down to nothing. So of course I throw up two factories. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a land battle now. Land battle all the way now. Of course Fat Squatch is spreading out like nobody's business he's got his base ready to go if he tries to come up there to him now at this point I'm able to recover and start producing hammers left and right Moving everything around there. Get an aviation factory and a of course another landing pad up. 
I'll go ahead and move my hammers up north here to the center. Watching everything slowly tick. Now knowing what he's got sitting here. Thanks to Fat Squatch because he scouted it out again. But <laughs> Red mined the fields again. I was came in behind him at this battle. Because I had the hammers up in the center instead of down below. Popped aviation production to get some vertexes out. He's going to scout it with his vertex. He's going to take out his supply centers with his vertex. So we're at 34 minutes here. He's moving in. I'm moving in with my hammers, which of course get knocked out real quick because it's mined. <laughs> I lost almost every, I lost every single hammer because it was mined. Now he's gonna send in his force so it'll demon the area. Of course, we got another force moving in. I'm gonna use my vertexes here to knock them out quickly. All while he's over here demining. And then I send my vertexes over and land them. And send them back over to take out his defenses first. All right. It's now been demoned. We'll send in a force over here to help with Fat Squatch. Now that it's not mined anymore, I'm gonna send my vertexes for a shot. I lost all four of those hammers to mines over in this area. But I have knocked out all of his supplies, power supplies. With that, I know he can no longer produce. With all his supply centers knocked out, and all his power stations knocked out. We know the game's in the bag at this point. Fat Squatch, however, got two squadron squadrons of Vertex. <laughs> Another HQ down here. But I sent in my Vertexes again for another run. Knock out another armadillo hoping that's that his last one at the time I've got some more hammers coming out I'm gonna send them over to take out the base hoping that they don't hit no mines I'm gonna send in my vertexes for another strike here start knocking out his factories Job well done. that's one they went back to refuel still got the hammers coming over that squatch has got some Zeus's going up there to check on Yellow, make sure he's not coming back. 
Another vertex strike. His sniper tower is back active because I took out that construction yard. He's sending his vertexes in. Sent mine in to take out that sniper tower. And of course, we all know the outcome now. that be the game victory guys I hope you enjoyed these two battles the first one was kind of a <laughs> just a little teaser but this was the main battle I hope you enjoyed it I fought tooth and nail for this victory with fat squatch even though he took out one and helped me on the second one I really hope y'all enjoyed it y'all stay tuned for another video coming out later this week until then guys this is commander Corley Signing off. guys i want to uh go ahead and throw this out there uh, i want to appreciate you for watching my videos and at the same time i want to get the word out for uh, swifty saloon my buddy uh, he started up his own uh, business and he's making these wonderful looking figures and uh, wonderful looking blocks for dungeons and dragons i believe uh, many different creatures many different out of ground top areas you got your dice um, all kinds of little odds and ends you need to check him out Swifty Saloon on Facebook and uh, hit him up and tell him that I sent you there he might even throw you a discount Again, thanks for watching, and as always, this is Jonathan with the Riotic Corporation. Until next time.